I'm Melanie Chacon with Tuola TV, and here with me today is John Clark. John, thanks for joining us. We are at his studio, and behind us here are some cool um, plates, and that's a whole different story. What we're here to talk about is John's project that he's working on um, that has to do with the scenic highways. With uh, scenic highways, it, uh, it was something that I became familiar with after doing a bunch of research on uh, early automobile history in Utah. Mm -hmm. And it was an organization that was formed back in the 1920s to promote uh, travel to the national parks, motor travel specifically. And uh, I was interested in that, but also as an artist, I wanted to try and capture some of, uh, some of this history in, in the art that I do. Okay. So how did you start off? Well, I started off by being a collector, just interested in gathering old junk, essentially, uh, old things that related to automobile history in the state. And even as a young kid, I was interested in this. I loved old cars. I loved old road signs and things like this. You know, every time you go to a restaurant that's decorated with this stuff, it was really exciting for me as a kid. And so I began collecting this stuff and found out that there was a lot of interesting stories behind this. And so it motivated me to learn more about, about the history of the things that I was interested in. And then I was also interested in art as a kid. And, and uh, the two kind of came together in a in a fun way where where my hobbies could could come together in one place so we'll show the viewers your process um in just a minute but what made you realize that you can do this or what even gave you the idea hey i can print this or photograph this and cut this out how did you even come up with that well, it, it, it's a gradual process, and, and a lot of that is just uh, education. As you go to college and learn about different art processes, that was that was a major step in learning how uh, to be a block printer, which is what I primarily do. Uh, but uh, as a kid, you also draw a lot and, and sketch things that you're interested in. It starts there, and then you learn that there are other things, other ways of approaching art than just with a pencil. Uh, and a lot of that comes through education, through college and whatnot. And, and I was an art major in college, so I experimented with a lot of different methods and processes. Mm -hmm. So you have posters, and you also have um, postcards. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? I also do prints. The, the posters are screen printed. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, po the postcards are just a four-color process. They're just printed like a lot of the things that you see uh, printed today. But I also do prints where I hand carve each one of the layers and uh, print from those sp blocks specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take us through the process now. Tell us what you start with, how you, you know, if, if um, a photography is your first step, tell us about that. I know you travel in this old car behind us, so yeah. why don't you tell, take us through the story of it. Okay, well, it, it's, it's perhaps a little bit uh, nerdy, but uh, I, I really love uh, the idea of, uh, of sort of living in, in uh, the past. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't live in the past, live now. Well, I live in the past, I yeah. admit, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, we enjoy taking uh, family vacations in, in this old car. And uh, it's not always the car that we'll take, you know. It's nice to have modern, reliable transportation. Yeah. But we'll set out uh, on, on a road trip, take this old car, and uh, drive the scenic highways through Utah. Uh, a lot of the highways that were promoted by those early uh, pioneers that I was speaking of earlier. And we'll take this car out on those roads and then uh, uh, look for just the right kind of scenery, the right kind of, uh, of message to, to put into to the project. I take a lot of pictures, you know, hundreds of photos. Mm -hmm. This is great in a digital age because you don't have to worry about film. But I take all of these photos and then we'll use them as reference to start my initial drawings, which just starts with pencil and paper. Mm -hmm. And from these photos, I do drawings based on the photographs that I've taken. And in the process, we'll also decide how I'm going to compose my image. So I'll put together these drawings and figure out how they're all going to be laid out and, and you know what positioning everything is going to take within, within the frame. And then once that is set up, I will go back, take my original drawings, lay tracing paper over the top, and redraw them in black, black ink. Because by doing this, it sets it up for the process of screen printing and also block printing. Mm -hmm. So once everything is set up in a solid color or a solid shape, then I can convert that to a color either by carving it on a block or by printing it, uh, having it screen printed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're over here where all the magic happens. 
And I'd like to focus on this Motor Tales series. So tell us a little bit about these because they're books, mm -hmm. right, that you wrote. Yes. And there's pictures inside. So go ahead and share that with us. Okay. Well, as I was mentioning earlier, my, my interest with, uh, with automobile history mm -hmm. grew out into more than just art, but, but also into researching and writing the history that I was learning about, uh, mostly because I wasn't finding this history anywhere else, and I wanted to, to share that, what I had learned about all of these interesting stories about early automobile history. And so w the Motor Tales series grew out of... Uh, grew out of this interest, where each one of these, these uh, prints, and what we're holding here are, are books based on, on full-color prints that were first created, and then I would write the history that I had learned about different aspects of, of history in the state. For example, uh, early roads, uh, stories about early highways and the development of early highways, stories about early automobile dealers or, uh, or you know, the stereotypes surrounding women and driving and all these different early stories that I was coming up with. There's, there's a different print based on these, on these stories and then a book that goes with it that details the history of that particular history. The work that is the most easily purchased can either be found online at my website, which is uh, www.scenichighways.com, and highways is abbreviated, abbreviated H-W-Y-S, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, the posters and the postcards are actually sold through the national parks. So a lot of the, the national parks in Utah will carry both the posters and the postcards. The block prints, uh, typically, uh, you could contact me online if you saw something who's interested, but they're, it's generally limited in, in uh, access through art shows and other things like that. Okay. Well, thanks so much, John, for sharing your talent with us and for inviting us to your studio, and we're excited to see your work.